So earlier today on First Take, Stephen A. Smith and Dan Orlovsky got into a debate regarding C.J. Stroud and Jordan Love. Of course, this week, the Packers and Texans will be facing off at Lambeau Field. Should be a very exciting game. If you want to see my breakdown of the game from earlier today, you can check it out on my channel. But I want to share this clip here um, and, and sort of give their, you can hear their differing opinions on this Love versus Stroud debate. And then I will give mine as well. This is on First Take earlier today myself even though I got love for love the brother can play I'm glad he got his bag he deserves mm -hmm. it because I think his upside is tremendous I've seen how Green Bay has looked with him but I've also seen him make a few errors that I did not see from CJ Stroud I just have a slightly greater belief in CJ Stroud than I do in Jordan Love on a week-to-week -week basis. Oh, well, you're wrong again. You're over two today versus oh, J Mac and I, man. Oh, that, 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 when it comes that, to like well, making you sense. always gang up. When with it comes football. to making, <laughs> that's what you do. It's quite I mean, literally am I, the opposite. Am I supposed to it's sit there and be moved by that? You, you side with everybody. It's Mina one. Oh, I side it's with everybody. It's Wagyu the next. Anytime you're with your 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 your, 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 your compadres I on the NFL everybody. side, that's what you do, Elvis. That's Don't what forget on Mondays it's you and Shannon just side by side versus me. Well, not That's what happened. Well, okay. Well, Shannon didn't first, count this week. He had laryngitis. He was operating. First of all, <laughs> Las Vegas with laryngitis. Listen, no Jordan Love will have a bet bigger game this week. Now, when it comes to CJ, mm -hmm. one, there's only four quarterbacks in the league I would take above CJ Stroud. Okay. That's how highly I think of CJ mm -hmm. Stroud. Okay. Number two, I think CJ and Nico Collins are the best quarterback wide receiver duo. Well, who are the four quarterbacks that you will? Patrick, owns? Josh, Joe, Lamar. Patrick, Josh, Joe, and Lamar. Those are the four that I would take ahead of CJ. Ahead of CJ. Correct. But I'm wrong. Correct. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, continue. Two, continue. I think that's the best quarterback to wide receiver duo in football right now yeah. is CJ and Nico. But Nico's I'm wrong. Not, continue. Well, Nico's Nico's not there. Yeah. I understand. If, if Nico that, that, was, you see, he's not there, but Stephon Diggs is there. Tank Dell is there. Nah, Bob, Bob. Okay. Okay. One, I know they scored 41 last week, mm -hmm. and Steph stepped forward. You could definitely, when you watch, feel the miss in the loss of Nico. It was felt there. There weren't as many explosive Down plays. Field. CJ covers up for a lot right now. He's... So good versus pressure. So good versus uh, on third down. It's remarkable what Stroud is doing. I, I think that Jordan has the better situation this week because of that. You talk, J-Mac, about the people. Jaden Reed is, is a, you know, he's on the verge of being a superstar. He, he's going to be the next Debo Samuel type of guy in this league. He's unbelievable with the ball in his hands. I think their offensive line is better in Green Bay. I think the multiplicity of the people that they have, they got three receivers that are absolute difference makers. Watson down the field with Jordan Love. Both teams are really good. I think Green Bay's defense and the ability to take the ball away yeah. is a little bit more on my mind than Houston's. Um, I think because Green Bay's fully healthy, I lean towards Jordan Love over CJ. But I like CJ as the player more. <laughs> I thought we were talking about the players. We were. Why are we, we were. talking about the players? No, we're talking about the game on Sunday. We're talking player in the game. Right. The, I'm just player? saying. Yes, but, but, we were talking about the player. I mean, the, the team, but I, the player I like, but the team. <laughs> we were talking about the player. And I just, we still, we, we still are. We still are. I like Jordan Love this week. <laughs> this week. In this game, because the question is asked it in was, this game. They didn't ask you who you want to start your franchise with. Correct. Your and no. that's why I came out with, listen, I only like four guys better than CJ. We like CJ. We love CJ. You love CJ. But you I like Jordan like Love better in this game because this, CJ this, doesn't have this his game. guy. Okay. Okay. So, it sounded like, I mean, they do disagree. Stephen A. Smith and Dan Orlovsky disagree on this week. Dan's taking Love. Stephen A. Smith is taking CJ Stroud. Now... Personally, I think that Jordan Love, I mean, I take Jordan Love not just this week, but every single week. And this isn't some, you know, between debating these two guys, there's not some big gap between them at all. There's like a, a tiny gap, if any gap, I would say, between Jordan Love and CJ Stroud. And I would agree, you know, this week without Nico Collins, that's unfortunate for Stroud. Love has most of his guys here this week for this game um, in, in Green Bay. But these are two quarterbacks who, you know, even though Jordan Love was drafted years ago, it feels like they're in a similar draft class just because they both started, for, you know, for a full season last year for the first time. And so it's sort of like we've gotten to watch them side by side to see, you know, who's who's the better quarterback. And, you know, if you look at the stats so far in their careers, um, last season, CJ Stroud was a little bit better overall when it comes to, you know, not turning the ball over. He had five interceptions to Jordan Love, 11 interceptions. But if you do look a little bit deeper 
according to PFF, if they have turnover-worthy plays. It's a stat. So let's say a defender drops an interception. It doesn't show up on the stat sheet as an interception, but it will show up as a turnover-worthy play. And lots of times with these turnover-worthy plays, some guys get lucky for stretches of time. Other guys get unlucky. In last season, in 2023, Love and Stroud both had 18 turnover-worthy plays. So even though Stroud had six less interceptions, I don't think it was that big of a difference when it came to like their, their decision-making and putting the ball into harm's way. Now, so far this season, Jordan Love has played in two less games than C.J. Stroud. So far, Jordan Love has 12 touchdowns to six interceptions. C.J. Stroud has 10 touchdowns to four interceptions. So in two less games, Jordan Love has two more pass touchdowns and two more interceptions. So it seems like so far, C.J. Stroud has done a better job when it comes to protecting the ball. Jordan Love, especially earlier in the season when he played, you know, the Eagles, when he played the Vikings, he threw three picks versus the Vikings, and he's thrown, you know, one pick the the past couple weeks. I do think that's an area where, you know, early last year, he had to clean it up a little bit down the stretch. The last eight or nine games, Love threw basically 18 touchdowns, one interception. And I think we're starting to see Love get into more of a rhythm. The thing is with Jordan Love, he's the kind of guy who is going to take big risks. And I think the more you take those big risks, sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. And when you look at the touchdowns, that's, I think, one reason Love could have you know more touchdowns right now is because he's willing to take a lot more chances. Last season, Love also had nine more touchdown passes than C.J. Stroud. And so I don't think you can go wrong with either one of these guys. And as I said, I don't think there's a massive gap between them. I personally would take Jordan Love. I think in the long run, he's going to have more success than C.J. Stroud. And on first take, they were bringing up, you know, how many guys would you take over C.J. Stroud? They named four or five. I honestly don't think there's many guys I would take ahead of Jordan Love. I would take Jordan Love over Joe Burrow in the long run. I would take Jordan Love over Lamar Jackson in the long run. I think he has like an it factor that we're going to see come playoff time as the years go by. Last year in the playoffs, ended poorly, threw a bad pick. I think he's going to learn from it. And the question for me is, you know, he's he's gotten better at times as I think he as he gets more comfortable and he's, you know, playing consistently instead of being injured and things like that. He starts to make better decisions. And the question is, in those big moments, can he make those wise decisions and not put the ball in the harm's way? But I do think, in the long run, I'm going with Jordan Love. I honestly think, I definitely take Patrick Mahomes over Love, even though this year hasn't been that great for Mahomes. He hasn't really been that good, but obviously, three Super Bowls, he always finds a way to win. So I'd probably take Mahomes over Love. And then probably, um, probably Josh Allen, just at this point, because you know we've seen a lot more from Josh Allen. But outside of that, and that could change in my mind based on how Jordan Love plays. I, I wouldn't take many people over Jordan Love. I still think that, you know, only playing in four games, we saw what he did last week. I think that he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league. That's why the Packers paid him as such. So um, these are two very good quarterbacks. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you want more Packers content, make sure you subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at LukeBeller3. And I'll see you guys next time.